All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 10 for today. In the last episode, we had a lot of players who were quite aggressive on offense. So I want to talk a little bit more about positioning and getting ready for passes and where you should be playing to kind of predict what the next play is going to be. We're sitting at Diamond 3, Division 3, and 2v2. And in threes, we're in Platinum 2, Division 3. So pretty close in rank. We're almost champ. So hopefully we can get up to uh, to Diamond before we get to champ. But it's probably going to be champ first because 2v2 happens way more often. Before we get into the games, go to the meme of the day. And we have Acarp 5 with Waluigi. This should be a fun one. All right, it's time to make Waluigi. We got Illusion's head here, and we have uh, we have all of the Mario characters, but I think I only need one of them, and it's this guy. Let's zoom in real quick. All right, step one, remove half of Wario. Step one, complete. Step two, grab this, move it over. Now, what do we do with this? Uh, Okay, we removed the neck, and now... What I'm going to do is grab Waluigi's hat, I think. And yeah, this is um starting to come together. I can see the vision now, okay? So, go like that. We can erase most of the top of his head. Now, forgive me for what I'm about to do, but let's <laughs> let's go in here. Oh, hello. Okay. We should go from here. Um uh head okay? Oh, my god. <laughs> Okay, let's go on Waluigi here and just paint white where his ears are. Okay, that's pretty good spacing there. Now what I need to do is kind of like get his chin more defined. And that requires, once again, more liquify. I think we want to like get his chin more defined. Let's see what that looks like so far. Okay, not good. It's not good. I will say it is not looking like a proper face. Uh, don't worry. Don't panic. I'm only panicking a little bit. Let's remove the background. How do we show backdrop? That is cursed. Trust in the process. That's certainly something. So we're kind of there on the left side. It's not perfect. I kind of need to do a little bit more to blend it a little bit. And the right side needs to kind of sharpen out a little bit. So let's bring this down and then in a little bit like that. I'm sorry, Illusion. I apologize. That's pretty good. And now the skin does not look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fix the skin. And in doing that, I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this patch tool. This is an interesting tool where you can go like this, I think, and then move it. Yes, yeah, so you can kind of like blend it with what's around it. So, it, oops, like this, move it up to here. Okay, don't worry about his mouth there. I'll just fix it. There we go. Move it up to here. Perfect. Then this whole area needs to be kind of... This is going to get a little bit weird. I kind of need to do this in little pieces or else it's going to get really messed up. Just a little bit of movie magic, you know? It's just grab some, some of his face and reuse it. And that's all right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's just do a bit of an erase. I feel like this part's a little messy. Um, it's done. <laughs> I'm happy with it. There it is. A carp. I hope you enjoyed this one. All right. Pretty quick cue. So we probably have teammates pretty much where we are sitting at. We have diamond winners and champ winners from last couple seasons ago. Um, I'm going to flip towards the ball here. People, some, some are, people are flipping. Some people aren't still. Our teammate is AFK though. So we're going to have to see what happens with the, the passing on the field. I'm just waiting for them to make a pillet play. You can see how much space I have. I'm going to stay with this ball. Get a decent 50. I'm just trying to make soft touches to keep the ball close to me. And now when I was talking about uh, positioning for opportunities, I see this ball spilling in the mid, uh, but there's somebody on the ball right now. I'm going to try and go for it. Um, I can see that they're up the wall, and I'm ready in middle for that ball to spill. Right here, I see that there's going to be a player who's probably going to clear it to the corner. And I also see my teammate sitting in the corner, so I'm just kind of waiting. He's blocking these balls pretty nicely, but you see, I don't, I don't have to position anywhere too dangerous and then go for a shot opportunity. That could have easily been a goal. If I just shot it below the net, because I'm just waiting for the next opportunity. I see this play right here, and I have space in the ball. Good demo for my teammate, but there's going to be nobody because we don't have a third player to really shoot that unless I rotate in. My teammate can go for this. He's, he's pretty far back now, so I think he went for the back corner boost. Aggressive touch. I'm going to wait for their touch first, and now I can make a back flip into the corner. Okay, awkward ball. It looks like they're leaving the ball, so I'm going to stay with this. Good patience from uh, from Vibes here. Missed, though. I'm going to go off the backboard here with a flick and see if my teammate can go for it. Great finish. If you don't feel confident in your shot, uh, you can always go for a, ba uh, a backboard. Um, in this position, you're going to have to go for a flick where you're 
basically on the front half of the car um, with the ball until your last little bit of boost. Close one, what the heck? All right, I'm gonna sit in mid here, see what happens. Once again, just positioning for um, like the ball right there. If that player was challenging me, I would have probably just boosted right into the ball. Um, but instead he he backed off, so I actually slowed my my approach down. Good good demo from Ozzy. To my teammate, probably to make a boom or something. Good try, I didn't time it quite well. This ball's gonna bounce to me. Nice base here. This is technically open, but I'm gonna try and pass this to my teammate. Oh, oh, back her up, back her up. Good save, good opportunity. They might be panicking here though. So once again, I just wait for the opening and now I shoot. So yes, I could have rushed up to that, but there's a good chance they're panicking with the ball being close to the net. And instead what I do is I just wait for them to make maybe a mistouch. Or you can see I was kind of aiming my car to the left where they could have, um, um, he's typing in all chat. It's all good going for the demo. He went for the demo last time. As you can see, I'm kind of just positioning my car in, in the, the best case scenario or worst case scenario, depending on the situation. This is an awkward bounce. It might be pretty aggressive from them to make a play. This backflip in the corner. I'm still gonna stay in the corner here, try and block any shots. Didn't look like they went at all. Great shot off the backboard. So this is hard off the side, but you can see nobody's really ready from his team. So it's really kind of a waste of touch. He, if his teammate's gonna back off, um, that's a really bad touch for me, by the way. Don't You wanna get rid of possession like that. Really good bump too. To be a finish, nice finish. If you don't see your teammate uh, being ready for a play, um, then you're going to be putting them in a position where it's probably going to be a 2v1 against them in a second because he just spilled it off the corner, but then my teammate gets a free ball down the field. Obviously, that was a missed touch for me. I was trying to play it like as if I was like kind of trying to control it. I don't know. Uh, get the boost back here. Wait for his touch. He's going to flick it. See what Jordy 2 lit does. Soft touch. Might just be open. Nice finish. So pretty aggressive uh, try here. Like I, I respect the aerial, but in this situation, what you need to do is make a solid touch first off towards the net to at least force a save or hit it off the backboard uh, softly. So it's difficult to read. See what's happening. I can see a potential big clear. So I'm just kind of sitting and being patient. Big 50s. He's behind the ball still. Just going to wait. And now I could have pounced on that, but no need to. So he does with this. He's once again going to maybe throw the ball away. And now I stay with the ball. Decent challenge, but it's off the backboard. And once again, too dangerous for the opponent to go for. And this might just be open. Yeah, and he's going to probably say oops again. Dude, this guy is surprisingly toxic. What the heck? Oh, I guess he said... The, I guess he saw that it was leave match. Weird behavior, man. It's just like... I don't know. It's just so, like, cocky, I guess. I don't really know what the word is for it. This guy was the only champ player in here. But not a bad game. He, he played pretty well positioning-wise. Going for some aggressive demos in certain spots. But uh, well played, either way. Weird game. We got 3v3. We got Mad Calix and Brandon. Lovely. Nice. So we're in Platinum now in 3v3. So some players are going to flip towards the, the ball on the kickoff. Looks like I have space on the ball here to go for a, a hit. And then maybe just stay aggressive. Go for some bumps or something and then back out. With this being a little bit slower pace, we just got to see what the opponents are doing. There's a chance off the backboard. It looks like they're all missing though. Now I have a free ball. Hit off the backboard again. See if uh, Brandon Lovely can go for this. Good challenge. I'm not in a great position to get some power on that, so I'm just going to back off in case my teammate wants to go. I'm going to turn around, though, because nobody's really pushing up on this. And now immediately off this challenge, it's, it's going to the opposite side of the net or the field, so I'm going to back off. I'm sure one of my two teammates are in a good position to deal with that ball. And look how much space I'm giving myself. I'm going to hit this off the corner. Looks like they might have this. I'm just going to wait. So I'm just like doing these little pump fakes that are getting myself in a good position. And I'm going to loop behind my teammate as soon as possible. I'm in third. I'm in third position. This is the hard, like one of the hardest roles to play. I think second man's actually the hardest in three v three, just because it's hard to tell like what people are going to be doing as first and third man. So you're gonna have to like fill the gaps there. Great save for my teammate. I was gonna, like, that was probably gonna be in if I don't like if my teammate wasn't there. So really well played from him over the one player here. Brandon's gonna. We actually have a Brandon on both teams. Oh, one more. Good try. This is off the backboard. Someone might save this. I'm going to back out now. Let's see if someone wants to come up. This guy should probably be aggress aggressive. Ray's should be turning. Or not. Challenge on the wall. Pretty even game so far. Good challenge across. This guy's going to probably beat me here. So instead, I'm just going to go for the boost and then try to sit for the passing. Really good pass. 
He went. He actually had a perfect pass to me, but then still just took the ball again. Wait right behind. Good clear. Ronaldo's really awkward. Could be a chance here. I have control on the ball. Good challenge. And we actually just dunk him a little bit. I didn't expect that. It was a good challenge from him, but he just didn't get enough on the ball. And uh, big panic from... I don't think Raldo made the best touch there. It could have actually been back corner by Brandon. But he kind of spills it back. That's a big thing as well as we get up in the ranks. I'm going to talk a lot, a lot about bad clears. Like, And that's going to be a big thing about like forcing players to make bad clears too at the highest rank. Like SSL, most of the goals are going to be scored um, in situations... Uh, it's gonna be a shot here. Um, most goals are gonna be scored in situations where players are forced to make the last ditch effort save, um, in SSL at least. And not even, not even low, like lower SSL, more so just high level SSL. I think SSL, like in general, still just gets a lot of mistakes that can be ca uh, like capitalized on, but later on, it's gonna be a lot harder for that to be something to rely on. So you have to be more creative with how you force clears. Now I'm waiting a minute again. Not really seeing a good opportunity for a pass to come through. Maybe off this touch, but it comes to Mad Calix. Really good pass. I'm going to take a shot here. That was really, really well played. Like That's the space that we should be making uh, off these plays. Like I'm not sure if that was intentional, but he did pass it perfectly to me. Even though I was third man there, my one teammate, I think it was Brandon, was pushing back at the same time. So we kind of knew that we could go up for that. Not reliably, but there was a good chance. Sometimes you got to take risks. Let me see if I might try to go for this. Whoa. That's a good shot. I'm going to let that in because that was like very, very <laughs> calculated. It's off the back back of the other car. Bop. Well played. Definitely like a little bit of an accidental goal, but I, I respect it. I'm going to go behind here for the goal, uh, for the boost. A little half flip. I mean, if you don't know how to half flip, definitely lots of tutorials to learn how to do that. I'm not going to go into too many complicated mechanics until like later on in this series. Good pass again. I like this guy passing. This is more like it. And we're in Platinum. We're seeing someone who likes to pass and we're finding the opportunity. I'm seeing the chance for it to be a pass. Like, honestly, it's funny enough. I think that kind of pass in SSL would still perform pretty decently because people don't expect it. And it uh, just kind of works. Like when you have space like that, just take the take the 50 or take the um, the pass when you can get it. This is gonna be to Brandon. Decently, uh, decent clear on the side there. I was gonna say it's a little dangerous. Oh. Oh. Okay. I saw both my teammates. Um. Uh, kind of on the left side and I was going to try and pass it to them after that first touch but then we got cut off by the one guy and my teammate kind of flipped into the ball so it happens it's three to three. Oh, I'm going to go back here now I was going to cheat but both players kind of got caught in the same position we're starting to fall, fall apart a bit as a team I'm going to go for this and get an arrow into the corner so players are moving around quite decently at this rank in threes this guy might want to cut. cut. I'm just going to be careful with that. Good. Let's go for a shot. Good save. Looks like Brandon might have a clear. It's a good touch. But it looks like Brandon, oh, is struggling at the back end. Okay, we're all good. Good challenge. A little scary, but it's all good. Bad touch from Ronaldo here. You get a bump. Hopefully, Mad Cow is going to clear. Oh, he's struggling. Oh boy, he's struggling. <laughs> Wall reads are not the best. Hey, we got we got 11 seconds. I wonder who that was, because that was a bad read from Mad Calix. Those are those are hard to read. I I know the struggle back when I first started playing. Okay. Um, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and score here. Let's see if we can score something. Maybe just a shot like that without without go in. It goes in. Okay. Um. If we have some uh, some arguments in the chat. <laughs> We're in plat. <laughs> All right. Can we make a touch here? Oh, he's not playing. 
Okay. What the heck? What is happening? It's interesting that he said she. Is there some like, is there some beef that I'm not aware of? Was the one chasing. I'm not. I don't get. Want to get involved? No. I don't think we can do it. They're not gonna play. Oh man. Oh, he's out of here. I don't understand the keep chasing comment because I feel like Brandon was the one chasing the whole time. I don't. I don't really understand that. But okay. We're starting to get into near champ territory, so people are gonna be starting to move move quite fast in twos. Little scary situation here, but good pass back. I like this. I'm going to try to cut this off immediately because otherwise they're going to have possession when the ball slows down. If you don't know, the ball does start slowing down with friction. Um, oh, he's up for that. Okay, so we got to be careful. We might bait our teammate for bad touches like that. See if we can get in the way. Wait for the flip. Go for a clear. And I'm going to try and stay with this. See if he pan panics and backs off. A little bump. Not trigger happy for my teammate this time. It's good. Should be a clear to the corner. It's decent clear. He stays with the ball. Good challenge. They're going to have the boost and the ball. Maybe just the ball. I don't think I see anything terribly difficult to save here coming out of that. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, we're good. Okay. So I can see they're trying these wall touches. They're just not getting the right follow-up. That's probably going to be a, 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 a pattern that we're going to see a lot with players in Diamond. Is there, there, People are trying for wall shots and like ceiling shots and like uh, like musty flicks and stuff, but they're just subpar. You know, like they're just not, not very consistent. It's going to be a high touch here. I can definitely go for this. Good try. Big misses. Like I said, subpar. Uh, like reads on stuff and like it's just like inconsistencies. Okay, this could be a shot here from from them. So I'm just gonna wait. Good demo from uh, Hansha, but this should be a chance for my teammate. It's off the corner here. Good save. The better shot there would be to probably wait for the half volley. I'm gonna grab the mid boost and then go behind my teammate. Good challenge. Let's see what this guy does. Good control. I don't mind that. It's gonna be probably a flip out here. If not, he's probably going to lose possession. It's a good cut for my teammate. This is going to be a dangerous ball if we let him shoot. So I'm going to have to go for some sort of touch. And this is more advanced, but as you get better at getting a touch on the ball and, um, you know, and recovering, you're going to want to hit that ball in a way that I just did where you hit the ball and then recover on, uh, on the wall behind the backboard as well. So yeah, once again, players are trying to do the air dribble setups. They're just not consistent enough, so they're making big mistakes. So you can kind of rely on a lot of players making big mistakes um, pretty often. Good cut. It's a good smart cut from the demo play. You got to avoid the demo. Good play from Dave. Oh, good bump. That might be a goal. Yeah, that was smart from uh, Hansha. I definitely could have avoided it, um, but it was a really good play from them to like rush into the net and then immediately back out right here. Yeah, that's a good play. Let's try to um, sit pretty close on this. Immediately, I'm going to go for this boost. I don't think Hansha should have went for the ball there. They should have went for the... Uh... Oh, nice. Um, they should have went for the boost. They would have probably maybe beaten me on that if they were a little bit faster. We got a decent wall clear, and then uh, Davey was not ready for it. I thought he was going to be ready for it and backed off. Might get in the way. Try to bump him, maybe. Good aerial. This could be a dangerous shot. I can see Hansha likes to go for like some big bumps. Go for an aerial. Not the strongest shot. As you can see, if you hit the roof of your car. Oh, good try. I um, hit the roof of your car. It's going to be much worse um, of a touch. Big whiffs. Should be my teammate. He should have got the back corner, I think. Oh. Not the best clear. 
Close, big clear from them, but then we get a free touch off the corner, and then I'm gonna follow this up again. Pop off the backboards, make it a little awkward. Nice, I'll wait for him here. It's gonna be really awkward for Hansha. I can maybe go for this. Oh, it's okay. Boost grab from Hansha is gonna be uh, not great for us. My teammate couldn't keep pressure at that point. All right, so I'm gonna go for a decent 50 here with a flip. I think most people at players are flipping. He's actually speed flipping, so I'm going to go for... Well, trying to. It wasn't... Actually, I think it was just a corner flip. I see my teammate trying to go for this. He's missing. A little scary. That's probably too good of a recovery for Diamond, but... Let's go for a demo here and just try to roll it mid. Oh, good challenge. Good try. Good challenge once again. You might not have a double here. I can take this back corner. That way it stays with me. Looks like they're just rushing it. Should be a save from Davey to the corner. The decent speed going on at this rank. Okay, this wall, this ball is off target. So he's got to play close. Okay, I don't like that touch because it goes right to them. But I'm going to go for an aerial maybe. Just off the backboard. Decent touch from Davey. Okay, I can't go on this. I'm going to cut this off when I see the opportunity. I see the other player was on the right. So I gotta be a little bit careful with that. And we got the shot, the shot on target. Thank you, thank you. And that corner play was like a good opportunity to make a shot towards target. I wasn't even intending it forward to be like fully on target. I was just trying to make a shot on the corner. And the opponents played really well. That was really good back and forth. Um, I would say Honcho definitely seemed like the best player out of the three. Um, but overall the control was better. And as we get closer to champ, this might be our champ game. It was, and that was all champ one players. This is definitely a better, higher level game. Probably the highest level we've seen so far in the road to sell. I mean, that makes sense. Um, I will do one more and see if we get threes. We probably won't, though. So we're in champ one. It's actually like we're, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. All right. We have Nathan Duh on our team against Only Facts. Okay. Only Facts. Okay. Nice. And Boomy. I'm going to uh, wait here. Try and grab this corner. We don't get it. But Boomy's going to maybe make a touch. It's a good pass middle. Good try for my teammate. I probably could have just challenged that immediately and forced it. But uh, with the boost being stolen, um, it's going to be a good opportunity for them. And that's not a bad challenge from Nathan. He, he definitely could have cut a little better on that ball. But I do like that he was being proactive on defense. Good challenge. Go for a touch off the backboard. Never mind. He's going for the touch. So I'm just going to get behind. I was going to boom that off the backboard if, um, if the guy backed off. I have space here. Good challenge. Oh, he needs to just take the boost and, and back off. It's really bad turns from Nathan, but hopefully we can get this first. I'm just going to rush into this and just pop it off the backboard, see what happens again. See how the backboard defense is. Oh, a little sketchy. In the corner, my teammate should hopefully be challenging this. He was reluctant to go, but we go for a touch. Over one by just hitting off the wall. Trying to stay close. Hit this towards target, maybe. Uh oh. That was close. Good cut. It's both players really awkwardly off the ball here. Good challenge. Now I can take the back corner boost. Let's see if my teammate can move up and make something happen. Hit off the backboard. Looks like a big miss from Only Facts. Should be a shot. Ooh, big miss. Go for a shot again off the, the, top, the top. Close. Good save. Just keep cutting here and just staying uh, with pressure. This ball's going to spill in the mid. Should be a shot from Nathan. Boomy's really awkward. It's a good try. Ooh. I'm going to try and bump him here. Uh-oh. Good recovery from Nathan, though. Not the greatest follow-up touch, but still a good recovery. He was good speed. I think he got bumped and kind of followed it up. Big clears. I'm going to sit with this ball. Oh, big misses. Good challenge. Going to go for the aerial here. Just go for the top left if I can. Big miss. Okay, I thought he was going to save that. I was going to go for the left side, but I thought he was going to take that. Looked like they had a decent position on that one. All right, so big win to the side. It actually lets Nathan get the boost, so I'm going to let, let him take the boost instead. And I see this player might be recovering for boost. I'm going to take this one and then try to stay close on this ball. Big flick. The other guy in net does not have much boost. It's a good challenge, but it could be dangerous. Getting good, powerful side hits on the ball. I'll bump this guy if I can. Nathan went all the way back, though. 
Like that would have been a good bait if my teammate was there, but it, me going there is not good. I go for a clear on the field. Seems like Boomy's ready for it. Not a great touch. Big clear. Off to the side. Should be a catch for my teammate, hopefully. It's a good try. I didn't quite time it. I'm gonna go for a clear off to the side again. Doing a lot of hard touches this game. Just really hard hits. And there we go. A lot of players will panic when you hit like hit the ball really hard, especially at these ranks. Uh, if you hit the ball really hard, people are just gonna like try and rush to it. Um, we saw Hansha last game. He's actually playing pretty well. I went really hard off the backboard. He actually just drove up the backboard and got the clear. That's kind of what I was um, thinking he wouldn't do because a lot of players are panicking, but he was making good control. That's why I said like I think that he was probably the best player in the in the lobby. Looks like Nathan might beat him here. Well played. Now, he might take this across. We'll see how to see what he does. He doesn't want to take it across the net. It is a little risky, but he could have made a hard touch. Good beat. It's a good touch from them too. And now I have space in this ball. Waiting for the bump just in case. Could have shot that a higher off the backboard. Would have caused more panic. But it's going to be only facts to clear this. Good control. Good dribble. I like this. I'll go for a, a, a challenge because I see that he doesn't have good control. Also, I believe that my teammate was probably positioned behind me to get ready for any flick that he... Basically, whenever you flick like that, you're going to lose possession. Good challenge from OnlyFacts. Oh, wow. Both players. Good catch from a teammate. Good try on the, the dribble. I'm just going to clear on the field. We have 29 seconds left. That actually scares Boomy off of this boost, and we get it for free. I have the ball for free again. See what, what happens here if I just take the ball for lots of time. Just try to make something happen. Make them have to do something. Teammates flat footed. It could be dangerous. That could have been a really good shot. Down the field. And Nathan, I think, will clear this into the net. And that will be the win. Uh, definitely a very eventful uh, episode. We unfortunately didn't get the 1v1. I would have loved to see that. I need to get that to happen one, once. It's going to be less and less likely as we get higher ranked. But either way. Um, talked a lot about positioning, about what I'm trying to see, what, what's going to happen next. And overall, pretty good episode. Uh, definitely a funny own goal for like the loss that one game in the 3v3 game. But yeah, um, hopefully we get more threes. I will maybe turn off 2v2 in the next one just to get a couple threes games so we can move into diamond. I think a two rank disparity is probably going to be too big to really see like the differences in the ranks. So I'm going to uh, maybe hold off on threes, but let me know if you guys want me to do that. If not, I will just continue as I am going as right now. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.